Welcome back to Tech with Viresh. In the continuation to our series on Hadoop interview questions, today we'll look at a very interesting problem, and that problem is called a split, uh, split brain problem. So this is the problem in the Hadoop 2, and in this particular video, we'll see what exactly is this problem, what are the reasons for this problem, and what are the solutions provided uh, by Hadoop to tackle a brain split kind of scenarios. So guys, let's start. And before I move forward, I would like to request to all my subscribers, uh, if you like my videos, do subscribe to the channel and also like and leave your comments so that we can improve our, improve upon the, the quality of videos. So guys, let's start with a split brain problem. So a split brain problem is a scenario which may happen in Hadoop 2 uh, architecture where both the name nodes, the active and the standby, became active at the same time. So in the typical uh, Hadoop 2 architecture, there is a facilitation for an active name node and the passive name node, which is the backup name node, uh, which will take over in the case of uh, failovers. But sometime it may happen that both the nodes become active at the same time and this leads to a lot of problems specifically to the corruption of the metadata regarding the namespace information uh, of the name nodes uh, is one of the biggest problem so guys this whole scenario wherein both the nodes become active at the same time is called a split brain issue and the problem this particular issue will bring in is this will lead to the corruption of the metadata the namespace information kept uh, to handle the underlying uh, data nodes the information regarding the blocks uh, for the allocation of tasks and the storage of files etc uh, another issue that will arise is the whole cluster will get divided into two smaller clusters each led by individual name nodes and some of the data nodes would you know, as with, would associate themselves with one data node and others would be with the data, uh, name node two. And both these groups will believe that it is the only active cluster. So that should be the case in idle scenario. But uh, they will behave in a split manner. The whole architecture, the whole resource set will be divided into two. So this entire scenario is called as a split brain issue or a split brain scenario. So guys, let's look forward. Uh, what is what are the different reasons for this scenario or issue to happen and what are the probable solutions provided? If we quickly look a uh, uh, little bit of history and the context uh, uh, into into the Hadoop architecture uh, before Hadoop 2 uh, name node happens to be the single point of failure. So if in case name node goes down for some reason, the entire uh, cluster is unavailable and there was no mechanism for any sort of automatic failover before Hadoop 2. With the advent of available architecture, they brought in the concept of uh, two name nodes. One would be the active name node. Another one would be the passive name node act as the standby. Uh, and it will take over in the cases of uh, uh, failover scenarios. Now, for these two name nodes, to work in tandem and be in sync uh, in, uh, from, from the namespace information perspective, uh, they've also bring uh, uh, in Hadoop 2, they've also brought in the concept of general nodes. So they maintain a quorum of general nodes, which help in sharing uh, the namespace and the metadata information between the two name nodes, active and passive. <coughs> So as we've already discussed, uh, the Hadoop 2 highly available architecture has a concept of active and passive name nodes, which uh, comes is that if we have to keep uh, the two uh, name nodes in sync from the underlying data node perspective, we'll have to make sure that the entire information regarding the blocks and the storage of different uh, you know, blocks of data is supplemented to both these name nodes so if in case there happens to be a scenario of switch over from active to passive name node, that should be smooth and all the information should be available with the new node. So for this, the, what they facilitate is now the data node is configured in such a way that it will send the block information to both the name nodes at the same time. Right? Another facilitation that they make so that uh, both the name nodes would have their uh, active tenure at uh, one point in time 
they make sure that all the commands read write are handled by one node at a time and that name node would be the active one but as we have seen there may arise a scenario uh, where during a failover while the one name node is still shutting down uh, it may handle some request which are already supplemented to it and spoil or corrupt the entire metadata to uh, put a solution for such kind of scenarios uh, hadoop 2 gives uh, a, a, a solution in the form of fencing so in your hdfs uh, site xml configuration files you can configure different fencing mechanisms fencing mechanism means that uh, it will make sure that at any single moment of time in the entire life cycle of hadoop cluster there can only be one uh, name node active there would not be a scenario of overlap and for this we can configure different fencing methods provided uh, if we talk about different fencing methods these methods in itself could be different custom java objects where you've written a logic to to kill the shutting down uh, name node explicitly or some sort of scripts that kind of go ahead and kill that process of uh, you know uh, dying name node two of uh, the fencing mechanism provided in the in the hadoop 2 is one is ssh fence which can be configured in this form where you set up a property uh, dfs.ha.fencing.methods and name of the method in this case would be ssh uh, fence what it does primarily is it will uh, do a ssh on that particular failing name node uh, supplemented with the uh, uh, information from the configuration file regarding the you know, IP address and the port and will explicitly kill that process so that uh, while the new node uh, name node takes over the previous one is killed explicitly and there would not be any overlap scenario another uh, method provided for fencing is the shell wherein we can path the uh, you know relative path of the script that script may be carrying some sort of custom logic to either to explicitly kill that process or to make sure that that process is not accessed anymore from the command perspective. So these are some of the fencing uh, mechanism provided by the Hadoop 2. So guys, uh, that this particular video uh, where we have discussed the split brain issue and uh, probable solutions provided by Hadoop 2. Keep watching. Happy learning. Have a great day ahead. Bye bye.